Hey, how's it going guys? Tech Notice here, and today we're going to be comparing Face ID versus Touch ID. Now, this is not going to be any standard Touch ID. This is the first generation Touch ID that came with the iPhone 5S. Now, most of you guys would already say that Touch ID is probably slower than Face ID because they are generations apart. However, we're going to test them today, and I really have doubts that Face ID is faster than Touch ID. And definitely, this is not faster than Touch ID second generation on the iPhone 7 and above. Hopefully, Face ID does beat it because I do feel like my iPhone 10, which is $1,500 right now, should be a little bit quicker at least than the iPhone 5S. But who knows? Let's take a look here. And just take note here, guys, because the iPhone 10 does require another motion to get it to unlock. So I'm going to have to swipe up right after. So do calculate that in the time that it requires to unlock your device. We'll do it in three, two, one, go. So there you guys go. The iPhone 5S is quicker than the iPhone 10. Now, I want to try that one more time just to make sure it's not a fluke, and I will definitely try it in different angles. And I'll face up in a different direction here to see how quick the Face ID does pick up my face. Three, two, one, go. So the iPhone 5S over here just totally dominates in the unlocking process and I'm not surprised at all. I do feel that Touch ID was always faster than Face ID at any given point. But here we're going to try it at a different angle and you guys can time it out yourself. All right, so both of them are lined up at my face and we're just going to try it one more time. Ready, set, go. So the time that it took the iPhone 10 to even start processing my face, the iPhone 5S already unlocked and keep in mind that this is the first generation Touch ID here guys. So it's going to be much quicker on the iPhone 7, iPhone 8 and above. And definitely I can feel it for Apple Pay. I'm struggling to use Apple Pay on the iPhone 10 here. Every single time I pull it out of my pocket with the iPhone 7, I'm already authenticated and I can touch the terminal. Whereas the iPhone 10 here actually needs to scan my face. So I feel like there might be a second generation Face ID coming out for the next device. Or they might be implementing Touch ID beneath the screen as we always expected. Now, Apple has failed to bring it to the iPhone 10, and I'm very disappointed with that. But so far, I guess the unlocking process is pretty good. I do feel like Face ID here isn't as the highlighted. Like, realistically, nobody is going to be unlocking your device without having the same fingerprint. Now, they said it's 1 out of 50,000 or 1 out of 500,000. I can't be exact there that somebody can actually get into your device with Touch ID. And 1 in a million for Face ID. So they can say whatever they want for advertisement purposes, but I do feel like Face ID here stinks completely. After using it for roughly about two months now, I gotta say that I am more accustomed to Touch ID and Face ID fails much more. Now, if you bring up the fact that twins can actually access each other's phone, which is definitely proven on YouTube if you guys search around a little bit, you guys can see that Touch ID actually performs way better. You can't really get into Touch ID without maybe molding another fingerprint or having the exact or probably chopping off somebody's finger. Now, I'm not saying you guys should, but that is a possibility if you guys really needed to access somebody's phone. Whereas this case here, Face ID, all I need to do is really is just point in at their face. So they say that there's a lot of security behind Face ID where you have to open your eyes and whatnot. So in all the instances that I've tried with Face ID trying to unlock it, I can actually unlock somebody else's or use their Apple Pay just by pointing it at their face at any given time. And I've tried this multiple times. So I'll give you guys a demo here. This is the iPhone 5S, so it doesn't have Apple Pay. I'm just gonna do it on the iPhone 10 here, but I'll give you guys exactly how it feels. When I am ready to touch the terminal, all I have to do is just double tap and we are done with the iPhone 7. Whereas the iPhone 10 here, take a look at how long it takes. All right, and for the iPhone 10, we're just going to quickly slide it to the side, double click, get this, and it's going to start scanning. And there you guys go. That took a couple seconds there. And within that couple seconds, if you guys didn't hold your device still, it would fail to authenticate and you have to type in your passcode. So really sucks there. So far, I don't like Face ID. The only time I do like it is when I'm in the car and this kind of defeats the whole purpose. Honestly, you guys tell me what you guys think below in the description or the comments. So I feel like the iPhone 10 should unlock like the OnePlus 5 and OnePlus 6 device that came out, where when you just look at it, it should automatically get into the home screen. Whereas this one actually defeats the whole purpose of Face ID by giving you an unlock icon and you have to swipe back up again. So eh, I don't like that whatsoever. Apple should be updating this to resolve it or give us an option to do so. But so far, I don't like Face ID. You guys are probably going to disagree with me, but yeah, that's probably the only time that I think Face ID is better than Touch ID. It's probably in the car on a mount and you can look at it and swipe up, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So just a little bonus here. I'm going to show you guys that the iPhone 5S can actually get a similar looking Face ID performing Face ID on it. So all you have to do is just jailbreak your device, which is pretty doable at this point if you have your device running on iOS 
10.3.3 just download app Lancy right over here and all you have to do is just scan every single one of your face a couple times jump into settings and I do have a specific video on this so check out my channel you guys will see that video going in depth about how it works but scroll down to the bottom in settings and just enable it all you have to do is just turn off your device turn it back on and it should scan your device and unlock it immediately so that's really cool if you guys have a device and try to want to try out face id but yeah this should be it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope this comparison gives you guys an idea of how bad or how good face id is it's pretty comparable to the iphone 5s right now so yeah peace out